Good morning and welcome to the first day of a brand new week on. I know, it's the first one in a while, I'm sorry, but at least I'm here now, here to do another week of eating nothing but a specific diet, seven days, don't break the rules, can't do it, let's try it, let's go. This week, if you can tell by the, uh, the image behind me, you might not be able to, um, although you might, it's the Mediterranean, which could only mean one thing, the Mediterranean diet, which apparently it's not one that uh, is going to kill me. So result, it might not go too bad this week. We'll see. We shall see. The issue, however, is that I'm not big on Mediterranean food. It's a lot of, a lot of hearty oils and tomatoes and eggs and fish. I'm not really a huge fan of any of those. But apparently, the Mediterranean diet is good for you. It's got lots of benefits. Apparently, it can help to prevent heart disease and strokes, keeps you agile, reduces the risks of Alzheimer's, halves the risk of Parkinson's disease, increases longevity. Longevity to what? Your life. And helps protect against type 2 diabetes. I mean, that sounds pretty good. Right? I mean, that's according to Google, anyway. So, you know, Google is incredibly trustworthy, isn't it? <laughs> so, it sounds like it's going to be good, really? At least for my body. Is it for my mind and my soul? I don't know why I'm pointing to that. Is it my soul? Is it my belly? I mean, I suppose that is the way to access my soul, is through my belly. You know, give me a cheeseburger and my soul will be happy. Don't think there's going to be any of those on this week on, however. As they say, yeah, it's going to be lots of fish. Lots of vegetables, lots of oil, eggs, tomatoes. Hmm. I'm going to approach it with a little apprehension. I mean, it wouldn't be a week on if I didn't just, you know, I, I, I practice caution, basically. If I just dove into it, you'd all be like, what's wrong with him? It's not like it's a week on KFC again, is it? But we'll, we'll see. We shall see. As far as rules go, I don't think there's overly much. Basically, my entire menu for this week has been planned by me just googling Mediterranean diet recipes. So hopefully that means I won't cheat. If I've struggled to get ingredients for a particular recipe, however, I'm going to try and um, sort of do what I can to make sure it's as close as possible. So not every recipe is going to be pinpoint accurate, but hopefully it gets the gist. You know, I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to substitute. Um, some really rare type of olive oil uh, for like beef dripping or something like that. You know, we're not we're going to get creative, but not take the piss, right? As is customary with these week ons. Before I uh, my crack on with my breakfast, suppose I need to hop on the scales, don't I? This isn't going to be pretty. Psyching myself up for it. Eaten a lot of crap recently. Okay, what are we working with this week? A lot, it would turn out. So, um, yeah, this week is certainly not going to hurt me, is it? <laughs> right, let's go get some breakfast. So, for my first meal in this week on the Mediterranean diet, I'm going to have some of these. And there's going to be a lot of these during this week on. So it's a good job I like eggs, isn't it? So that's going to go with feta cheese a red onion, this which I, I don't know if I've had these ever before. I'm not a huge tomato fan, but alas, it is in the recipe, so we shall try some sun-dried tomatoes. We have some spinach and some tortilla. So essentially, this is going to be an egg, feta and spinach tortilla, with obviously a bit of onion and tomato thrown in for, uh, for good Mediterranean measure. So yeah, I mean, I like some of these ingredients, not so much undecided, but the rest are fine. So, you know, hopefully that goes in our favour. I'm going to have a better outlook. I'm going to have a more positive outlook. Let's not be so sad about the amount of tomatoes this week. But let's go! With the help of my glamorous assistant, who isn't partaking in uh, breakfast today, no. but um, has helped me, thankfully, just to prepare a little bit. So I've got feta cheese, red onion, um, the sun-dried tomatoes, egg, that, and the spinach. So if you wouldn't mind, loading the spinach into the pan and we'll get it wilted. 
It's going to wilt to nothing, isn't it? Yeah, a little bit more. Yeah. Why the hell not? Suitably wilted. In goes the eggs. We're going to scramble. And then I just stir Yeah, scram scramble them down. They don't, it doesn't need to be a nice omelette. Eggs cooked. Into the tortilla they go. So just for those who like to point out about the lack of seasoning in, uh, oh, in the I've cooking. Oh, I've seasoned it. Yeah, you can just see the, the cheeky salt and pepper at the back. So don't worry about that. You don't need to leave a comment saying it's not been seasoned. Because it has. Because it has. Right, yeah, so uh, let's now bring over these so we can make it look pretty, make it look presentable. I can't believe you're having raw onion in this. I love raw onion. It's in the recipe anyway. Is that enough? Oh, yeah, that'll do. Bit of feta. Nice. nice. And I've kind of been quite reserved as far as the sun-dried tomatoes go, but if if they're nice, I'll make sure they're included more in other recipes this week. There, there we go. go. What, and then wrap it up? Yeah, if you'll mind. Lovely. Give it a try. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? I've got to say, it looks pretty good. I'm unfolding it. Yeah, nice flavours. I'm... I'm a bit apprehensive because of the tomatoes. Right, let's just stop being an idiot. Shove it in. Mm. Ooh. Graceful. What's it like? Spinach. That's all you can taste? Spinach is the dominant flavour. Sun-dried tomatoes are actually quite subtle. That's not bad. Mmm. That's really good. Considering there's no, no sauce or in, anything in there. Or cheese. There is, well, oh, feta. wow. There is feta. feta. <laughs> melty <laughs> but cheese. But not melty cheese. That's pretty, do you want a bite? You want no, a thank you. No, I'm all right. It's quite nice. Quite happy with that. Mm. Got to say, my breakfast was actually pretty good. <laughs> I, um, yeah, I, I think I went in with the, ver the, the wrong outlook on that one. I expected, because it's got feta in it, which I'm not a huge fan of, because it had uh, sun dried tomatoes. And uh, spinach, it was just gonna, it was going to be a bit rubbish. But in fact, I very much enjoyed it. So um, yeah, I'm going to change my outlook for this week. This is not really a diet that people spend a lot of time moaning about that I've seen. However, um, yeah, the cooking involved basically you have to prepare like 99% of the stuff. So um, it's going to be certainly a lot of cooking involved this week. Uh, so, so yeah, speaking of, I've spent the morning doing some work. I've been working in it, uh, so basically, yeah. Now it is uh, it's approaching lunchtime, and I, I've I've got a little bit of an iffy stomach. I've had it for a couple of days, so I think I'm going to go for something lighter for lunch today. Uh, something quick and easy and light that hopefully, um, yeah, doesn't uh, doesn't sit too heavy in the old stomach. It's not a real word. So yeah, let's crack on with some lunch. So for my lighter lunch today, I think I'm probably just going to have a salad. So our ingredients for our Mediterranean salad are an onion and then an orange, okay, and then a pomegranate, okay, and then some mint and then some cinnamon and paprika. Okay, I'm not buying this. What do you think, Gracie? Where's the leaves? Mint. Yeah, but you're not just... You've not got any salad leaves together. No, this is, I mean, there's also this, which is uh, you're going to kindly make into a dressing for me. But that's just honey, lime juice, olive oil, and then, uh, yeah, orange, pomegranate, mint, and for some reason, an onion. Gross. Yeah, I instant regret with this one, I think. But open mind, like I've said, open mind. Let's see how my Mediterranean orange and pomegranate and onion salad turns out. Right, Grace is just going to construct my salad for me, with my orange going on first. It's weird, isn't it? It's a bit weird, yeah. Not that we're judging those Mediterraneans, of course, but comparing it to my taste buds where orange <laughs> and onion don't usually go together. Oh, like, yeah. maybe light on the onion. <laughs> Slightly. It's too much. It's too much. It's okay. too much onion on my salad. Okay. Oh, and now don't forget the pomegranate, which has been cut in half. 
And we've seen a thing where if you hit the back of a pomegranate, the seeds don't fall out at all. <laughs> wow. Hack. Life hack. It's going everywhere else there. Just trying to hit your hand. These are rubbish. Is it just that it's not the right thing? Well, I don't know. Oh. Just it don't worry. Oh, there we go. Coming out a bit easy now. How many seeds would you like? That will do. You've splashed it everywhere. everywhere yeah. Time for the mint. I feel like I'm making a potion or something. <laughs> well, I was going to make a witch comment then, but I won't because I, I'm grateful for your helping. Oh, and now we have the dressing, which is uh, olive oil, uh, honey, and a bit of lime. That That's fine. Thanks. Thank you. Right. And of course, we can't forget the cinnamon. Not too much of that, by me. <laughs> not a huge cinnamon guy. Come on. Because you're not into cinnamons. You're not into... Cinnamons. And paprika. Brilliant. Oh, that smells smoky all of a sudden. Oh, don't put a big glob of paprika on my... Oh, we've got no forks. What a shambles. I've already got it out for you, that's why. Thanks. Not that I really... Oh, it smells so smoky. <laughs> no. Ready? Down the hatch. It's absolutely disgusting. <laughs> oh, that's the worst thing I've ever had in a week. Um, what? <coughs> it's foul. Oh no, I can't. I can't eat that. I cannot eat that. <laughs> yep. That was officially the worst thing I've ever put in my mouth in a week on. Absolutely dis... Basically, it was, for me at least, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that like that, but for me, that is not a number of ingredients that should ever be included together on the page. It feels like that episode of Friends where Rachel accidentally makes the, the trifle shepherd's pie, where it's got meat and potatoes and uh, custard and jam. It was just, n no, uh, it honestly, disgusting. Cannot eat it, cannot entertain the idea of putting that anywhere near my face ever again. It's in the bin, I feel bad about it. Might have to have an orange. We have, There are more oranges. I'll have the orange without the paprika, without the onion, <coughs> horrible. I'm literally angry at the fact that that came anywhere near me. No. No more. Please. No more orange and onion salads. No! Oh, how has it been this long into a week on video without showing you? People are going to be very cross I've left it this long. They are. They are. Yeah. Oh, you are a big soft lad. Right, Basil, it's time to make some dinner, and there's not going to be any orange anywhere in sight. You'll be glad to hear. Gracie is joining me for dinner. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. You're going to do all of the dinners this week, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, all the dinners, yeah. Not uh, really any of the breakfasts or lunches, but you are going to indulge in the evening meals, and it's yet to be decided whether or not that's going to be a good thing, but uh, we'll find out. I think it will. Well, for you maybe, but I don't know, because for dinner... We have this. Your favourite. Salmon fillet. I am on the fence about fish as a whole, and especially on the fence uh, when it comes to salmon. I don't mind it. But what are we going to do with this salmon, Gracie? Cabobs. Cabobs, indeed. With some red onion, some courgette. Um, we have the sticks here. We have uh, garlic to make the marinade. We have a tonne of spicy spices. Yeah. Uh, we're also going to shove some couscous with it, which we're going to mix just to make Mediterranean-y, aren't yes. we? Yeah, that's a word. That is a word. So we're going to have fish kebabs, which are going to be griddled, and then a bit of couscous, uh, which I is Mediterranean. Nice. Uh, I don't know. We will see. We shall see. But first we need to, I believe, make the marinade. Okay. Okay, let's make our marinade. So first in goes the olive oil. 
I'm guessing. Plenty of it. Yeah, we are using a bit of artistic license. We've got the recipe, but, um, you know, we'll see. <laughs> lemon juice. Ooh. We couldn't be asked to get lemons because there's a lot yeah. of lemons coming up in this week for that Sicilian flavour. So I'm just guessing. We've also gone lazy garlic. Right, that's about three cloves, yeah. <laughs> that's about 20 cloves. Two tips of that. Of thyme. Um, Bit of oregano. Dried oregano. One tisp of cumin. Oh, we didn't have chilli pepper, but I got the chilli flakes. Is that all right? Yeah, all right. How much of that, please? Uh, half a teaspoon. No, one teaspoon. Right, well, I'm, I am going to go half because it's chilli. It's not spicy. Half a teaspoon of co ground coriander. And there's okay. our marinade. Give it a bit of a stir stir. Might need a bit more oil, what do you think? Yeah, well, I don't know. No, actually. No, because we, we've only got that to go in there and this. And I think that, but don't quote me on it. There you go. Lovely. How does it smell? Smells right. Ooh, that smells garlicky. garlicky. <laughs> Sorry, okay. Heart. It is. Let's prep that. All right, the salmon is uh, nicely prepared in the marinade, so we'll get the uh, veggies in there as well. Well, some of it anyway, eh, Gracie? Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. And uh, we'll get that all mixed in. And then time to construct the kebabs. The lemon juice is already uh, kind yeah, of you can see it. cooking that fish. Right, let's do it. And there we go, four fish kebabs, which uh, Gracie just drizzled with the remaining marinade. Yeah, smells, a bit of salt and pepper. Yeah, a bit of salt and pepper. It smells so garlicky. It's yes. mad. Right, so instead of it going on an outside grill as uh, asked for by the recipe, we're just gonna put it in Old Faithful in the oven for about 15 minutes or so. What'd you say? Yeah, I do. And here we go. Two salmon kebabs with basically a thrown together veggie couscous <laughs> and a bit of hummus. Yeah. Right, do you want to have the, uh, the yeah. first taste seeing as I'm scarred after the taste from lunchtime? Never forget. Mm. Is it cooked all right? Oh yeah, that's nice. really nice. I mean, oh, it's a bit fishy. I'm only getting the fish, the salmon flavour, not really getting all of the marinade and that. Maybe we should have left it longer. Maybe. But it's delicious. It is very fishy in flavour. Um, on the cusp of being too fishy for me, I like salmon when it's like, you know, like smoked salmon in, on all sushi. Raw. Yeah. Um, it's it's okay for me. It is fishy, but not, not too much. Yeah, it's it, nice. is, it is. It is a bit fishy, but you know, it's not too bad, so. Oh, because it's nice. Yeah, that's not bad. Mm, minty. It's really good and the hummus edition is a good idea. From you, yes, point it out that you, your decision was for the hummus. No, no one's saying that. But you are, though, right? No. Hmm, right, let's go eat it. Yeah. Probably the best of the, best of the day. Basil, what are you doing there, eh? Look how big that makes your ass look, blimey. Why are you hiding down there? Hey? What are you doing? You're not talking. You've been a grumpy puss. Okay, is it because we didn't give give you any salmon? Is that why? I mean, that salmon was, was okay. You probably wouldn't have uh, sung about it from the rooftops. Or maybe you would have, blimey. Ugh, oh, right. There we go, that was the first day of a week on the Mediterranean diet. Not gonna have any desserts or anything like that, I'm just gonna call it a day and end on at least the highest high that today could possibly offer because it's been a pretty dicey start to the week on, gotta be said. My breakfast was actually really good. Um, thought I was gonna hate it, actually ended up enjoying that. My dinner, um, was a little dubious about that one as well. It was a bit fishy. Um, the, the salmon was sort of approaching the end of its life, shall we say. I mean, obviously it was dead and uh, in a packaging on a shelf. 
Um, but it was just overly fishy for me. I wasn't a huge fan of it. But if you, you mix that in with some of the veg, some of the couscous, it was really good. And the hummus was really good as well. Not usually a hummus guy, but that hummus was really nice. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to having some more of that as the week progresses. However, something I wasn't a fan of and never will be a fan of was that lunch. Honestly, the worst thing I've ever had in a week on, and I've had some terrible things during the uh, seven or eight years that I've been doing this bloody show. Who decided putting orange with onion and then paprika? Oh, I, honestly, I was this close to hurling my guts up everywhere. Absolutely bloody disgusting. Couldn't stand it. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I got the wrong ingredient of some kind or... Maybe I just don't have that sophisticated a palate. Probably both. <laughs> However, it was foul. Absolutely loathed it. Absolutely one of the worst moments of my life, putting that thing in my mouth. Do not recommend. But there we go. That was a pretty mixed bag of a first day of a week on Mediterranean diet. Don't feel particularly refreshed. Feel better than I did this morning, it's got to be said. Uh, my guts have sort of behaved themselves a little bit, but maybe that's because I didn't have any lunch. <laughs> so I'll, by the end of the day, I was uh, I was pretty hungry. But yeah, it's um, it's going to be interesting to see where the rest of this week goes. <laughs> this this is the first week on I've done in a while. So uh, yeah, please do subscribe if you want to see how I get on. Interestingly, um, I did film the first two days of another week on. It's the only week on I've ever not been able to finish, but it wasn't really my fault. But I, I've uploaded that one to Patreon, Patreon, um, and and yeah, if if you sort of support the show on there, you'll be able to see those. But it's it's just that I didn't think it was worth uploading to the, the main channel or anything like that because yeah, it was just two days and blah, blah, blah. But yeah, needless to say, I'm a little bit rusty and needless to say, Oranges and onions should not go on the same plate. Horrendous. But thank you very much for watching. Please like, please subscribe, please check out the uh, the Patreon. Please consider becoming a member here on YouTube if you want to see the rest of this week on early. And you want to see me struggling to make recipes and struggling to eat things and almost being sick. I'm sure there are nicer things on offer for the rest of the week. Fingers crossed. See you tomorrow.